Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Irene's DIY Addiction and today I have another unboxing video. I have this huge box which arrived to me recently. I haven't looked inside yet. I have a lot of very interesting items here uh, as well as several dolls. So let's see what's inside. I've asked Harry to put uh, the box uh, on the floor to have some space on the table. So uh, the first items I believe are the books. Now <laughs> it's fabric and these are yeah, these are the books. Well, not the books. These are magazines from a very famous uh, house, auction house. It's called Thuriols and it has some exquisite dolls as well as different items for dolls. And I think I'll be using it for inspiration to make dolls clothes or uh, furniture or interiors whatever it has some very nice photos the next item uh, is something small I'm not sure what is this uh, it could be miniature books or miniature items for the dressing table uh, I don't know what is this <laughs> Got it. This is doll's eyes. This is super valuable. Yeah. Those are antique doll's eyes and they are super expensive if you buy them as uh, a pair for a specific doll. But this lot uh, I bought from France and it contains several uh, eyes. They're not paired, but somehow, partly, they could be used for one doll as a pair. So, yeah, they are super hard to find because uh, now no one is making those eyes anymore. Uh, it's quite a sad story. When uh, women made those eyes, uh, they used a very poisonous and very dangerous technique uh, and uh, most of uh, the workers who did this job um, got blind after some time so now of course no one is making them anymore and uh, those are the earlier uh, type of the eyes which were used in antique dolls yeah so like I could use some of them as Bears, as they have similar color. Anyway, all the eyes, they are not exactly the same because th this is handmade and uh, so I'm sure I'll be able to use them for my dolls. So those uh, eyes can definitely be used as pears, which is great because uh, the whole lot cost uh, less than three pairs if you buy them separately. As for the rest, they could be used for replacing a broken eye for a doll or anything. Just look, this eye is huge and kind of different from the rest uh, and has some interesting color, gray with brownish circle in the middle. So I have a very nice um, addition to my eye box. <laughs> So the next item I believe is a toy, a doll toy. So many years. Yeah. So this is a super cute bicycle horse. Um, I'm going to be making a doll 
plain room and I wanted uh, to have a toy bicycle or a toy rocking horse and I kind of couldn't decide which one I want and so I bought this one it's like two in one both the horse and the bicycle and I think it looks so cute just have a look it's made of wood and uh, it is painted very nicely and I believe it could work for a smaller scale dolls uh, they could ride it and for bigger uh, dolls it could be just a toy very nice it's not very old but I think it looks super um, cute for an antique bedroom so the next item I believe is a doll and I'm super excited to see which one is this because I have really beautiful dolls here Many layers again. Oh, this is this is simply amazing doll. So this is super expensive and super rare doll. Uh, they were called like fashion dolls and this is uh, from Jumeau. This one is French and they are super super expensive once they are complete. But this beauty as you can see was broken and is missing some parts and also one of her arms is missing but I believe it could be here in this package and also she's wearing her uh, original outfit and I will be trying to restore it as well just have a look how beautiful is she <laughs> So here are some more miniature items. This could be either some vanity accessories or books. Let's have a look. Yeah. So this is a tiny brush for hair and it's just amazing uh, it's made of brass it was uh, gilded with silver but uh, it has wrapped off a little bit but all the same it looks gorgeous i have bought uh, the mirror uh, in same design i'll find it later in the package and uh, this one it's something very very small <laughs> I believe this is the arm for the Jumo doll. It looks like an arm. Because somehow I'm sure she had the both arms. Yay! This is the arm. So <laughs> she has the both arms, which is great because it's so hard to find the pair when you don't have one so she's complete and just needs some love to become a very nice doll I have no idea what is next and maybe these are more eyes Because I had another eye lot in this package. Let's have a look. Yay! These are 
eyes on rockers and I have <laughs> the whole big lot of this kind of eyes. They are the most common for antique dolls, uh, unlike the uh, earlier um, paperweight or enamel eyes. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, which I showed you before and these are eyes on rocker which are super common for antique dolls and here I have all sizes all colors so I'll be able to choose um, a pair which suits the best uh, for the doll because if you choose the eyes that are either too small or too big for a particular doll then you won't be able to have a nice look she will look kind of uh, weird with those eyes so I'm happy I have uh, a variety of eyes to choose from and these are I believe for a very tiny doll like a mignonette doll or something because they're so tiny So yeah, as you can see, they are in all sizes, all colors, so I have a very nice addition to my eye box. So the next one is, I believe, some fabric or clothes yeah so these are some very very nice cotton antique dress and skirt and maybe shirt which I can use for making dolls dresses as I told you it's very very hard to find in Russia and this looks like dolls head <laughs> Maybe I know what it is. Oh yeah! So, this is the head of a super expensive and super rare doll. This is uh, Kamer and Reinhardt, uh, 117 in mold, and she's so, so cute, and her eyes, they can, no, they can, because she's filled, I will not open it here. So, her eyes can flirt, so once she uh, is being moved, uh, her eyes are moving as well. This is very a very unique feature. Um, usual for later antique dolls and she's a beauty the only issue she has is her neck it's a pity uh, Natalie uh, told me that the seller sent her from Europe from Germany to the US in a shoe box without any proper packaging and so she was broken during the journey and luckily only her neck uh, has suffered so it will be not so hard to restore her and uh, the body for her is uh, somewhere in my box so because uh, the body was sent with the previous package and this is the head and that I think uh, is the other part of this anti-plot yay this is the blouse so this was an outfit a blouse and a skirt and you can see it has some very unique and nice pattern it is striped 
and has some very nice lace. Oh, just have a look. Oh, this antique lace, it's gorgeous. And the skirt has, uh, it has polka dot design and it's woven in fabric, which looks really nice. So I think uh, this could make a very, very beautiful outfit or rather several outfits for dolls. Normally I don't like pink color, I'm not uh, wearing it uh, in real life, but I just love how it looks uh, on dolls. So I'm sure this will make many, many very beautiful dresses. I start <laughs> being short of space on the table, but I hope it will be enough to finish. So this, I believe, is the lot with miniature books as I'm going to be recreating miniature interiors for filming finished restored dolls and so I bought several antique items to fill the interiors yeah so These are real antique books, but they are small, they are tiny, and they look just gorgeous. So I have Lays of Ancient Rome, Dreams, The Ancient Mariner, Barrack Room Ballads of Rudyard Kipling. It's curious to read them, I believe. Uh, Bab ballads. So, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This one is very famous. And The Coming of Arthur. So, they are very, very nice. And I think they will add greatly to the overall look of an interior with antique dolls. They are for the bigger dolls, uh, but I believe some of them could be used as great, great big books for smaller dolls as well. The next lot is for restringing anti dolls. The rubber bands. And uh, I'm very happy I got them because it's kind of hard to find cotton rubbers here. Most of them are poly cotton, and those are all cotton. And as you can see, they are in different sizes because. For smaller dolls uh, I need thinner bands and for bigger dolls uh, I need thicker. So here I have the variety of sizes. Next I have many smaller packages and I believe this is uh, another doll but in parts. So I'll open all of them and show you the result. Good. Кто-то клеит целую старую краску. Приклеили скотч. Приклеили скотч. Изверги. Да, это у нее одна рука. Да. И верхняя часть тела. Terminator. So actually I have a, a doll and a body without a head and the doll is, I believe this is Kessner. She's very cute and the best is uh, the head has no issues like breaks or cracks. Uh, this is uh, the mold 152 and she is very, very beautiful and overall she's in good condition. Uh, the only issue is with her body. She has some problems with her legs. Uh, I believe this is very common for antique dolls to have problems with legs, but I believe I will be able to restore this without any problems. And what I love the most is that this body has no repainting, which is 
quite uncommon. So this is the original paint and original varnish. Also she has some smaller issues on her arms but that's all. I only need to make a new uh, wig for her and a new outfit of course. And the body is uh, very old. I think this is the French body and uh, it still has the, oh, it still has the cryer here but I'm not sure if it works so I'll have to deal with this I haven't restored this type yet and uh, also it has no arm it has only one arm here so I'll need to find something to fit her or to cut it myself out of wood it is quite a challenge I have to say and also I'll have to find a proper head for this body of course because not all the heads fit all the bodies like you don't want to have a German head on a French body or something here I have the mirror to fit the brush I can see it through the packaging. Yeah. So I'm very happy because I could find uh, two items that have the same pattern. So they kind of make the set. Although you can see the mirror is darker than the brush, but I think some Mm, cleaning could help this and also it's a little bit different because it has no pattern here but overall they are very nice and I'm not sure what is inside the box The wig and even a hat. I have to say the hat is very very nice and the wig needs some restoration of course. Yeah. Handmade fashion by Jamie Ellis says the hat and okay let's open up the doll i believe this is the last item from this package oh what a baby so this doll is actually my christmas present it's like so oh she's so pretty so this is the most sick after doll i believe uh, this is the french doll uh, from casimir brew uh, they are super super expensive and of course uh, i couldn't afford uh, a real doll like this because they cost like twenty thousand dollars so this is a replica doll and of course it's much much cheaper than that but i love that she looks kind of like an antique doll she's very old and uh, she has all the antique items like an antique wig and her arms are looking like they're old as well as her body and it's very very well made and also I like her face it's kind of hard to find a replica which has a nice face well of course she's not looking like a real brudol but anyway I love her very much and she has a nice antique outfit a pretty pink cotton dress and underwear so she actually doesn't need any restoration because she's a replica and is very well made. Oh, yeah, so her hat has fallen off. But I think I'll make a new outfit for her. I'm not sure if I should film this or not. This is 
just for myself. <laughs> uh, write me in the comments below if you want a video of making a new outfit for my replica brew doll. <laughs> Well, I hope you liked my unboxing video. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next one. Bye!